It's amazing how many different kinds of batteries there are. C's, nine volts, double A's, triple A's, button batteries. And you know what? <laughs> They're all over the house. And some are probably good and some aren't. There's no real way to tell unless you test them. So it's time for an old fashioned showdown. A $35 digital multimeter that has a battery tester on it or these specific old time, tr more traditional battery testers, two for $5. Do they both work? Which is better? So let's go to a top down shot and start testing some batteries. So this is a BT-168 battery tester. It's pretty simple. It has this replace, low, and good. And then the button battery has a slightly different gauge on it. And it's just a little spring strip. It kind of goes back and forth like that. This one here is a digital and it has battery load test for 1.5, that's AA and AAAs, a six volt, a nine volt, and a 12 volt. First thing we're gonna test is these lithium battery cells. They're 2032s. And according to this little thing, they put the positive side, which is the bottom. Okay, that's a definite replace. This one just gives an indicator of whether it's good or bad. This actually gives you how much the voltage is on any given battery. So let's see if we can get a reading out of this guy. I'll post links down below for both of these in case you're interested. Let's see if we get any charge out of this thing. Interesting, it's bouncing all around. Somewhere between 1.8 and 1.9. Okay, so now let's use a 9 volt battery. I'm really curious about these because it's expensive. So the positive is here on a 9 volt. It's the smaller connector. And it says positive here. So let's see what we got. It has everything to do with how you hold it. But this 9 volt battery is still good. And it says it's good till March of 25. So happy about that because 9 volt batteries are pretty expensive. Let's see what we got here. We'll dial in the 9 volt on this side and see if we get 9 volts and 9.38. So slightly over 9 volts. Do this one. 9.4. So they're still good. All right, here's a rechargeable battery and the positive is here. So we put the red indicator here and the black indicator here. We'll just lay it down on the it's all over the scale. Now that's interesting. Now this is a rechargeable battery and it doesn't know what to do with it. This is a rechargeable battery. I'm, all, I'm just curious. And that says good. I get the same reading on both of these so there's no reason to test both of them for all the batteries. I'll put this one as we call in our house a battle spare in case this one breaks. And this is the one I'll use from here on out. And so I'm going to put the C in here. So that goes into the good pile. Here's an interesting situation. I put the battery in backwards. It looks dead. You need to put the plus on the side of the battery. The plus right there. Line it up. Okay, this is a low battery. So if you really needed a battery because you didn't have anything else around, you could use this, but it's pretty close to replacing. So let's, for fun, we'll put this in here and see how much of the 1.5 is still there. It's saying in the yellow, just like it did here, and it's saying it's got a charge of 1.2. So we'll put that in the yellow zone. Solid 1.5, we'll put this in here like this. Solid green. I think this battery is pretty good. It's still in the packaging. So let's check it out and see. So that one says it's good. Because it's in this green area here on the bottom for the button battery. Now these guys have been sitting in the car for quite a while. Have no idea whether they're good or not, so it's time to test. But now it's back to dead. Okay, these were supposed to die in 2017. So what did we learn here? Well, in a couple minutes, we were able to divide the batteries into three different groups. The very dead, the yellow, hey, just in case you need them, and you don't have any other available batteries, and then the solid green batteries are the ones that are good to go. They do the button batteries, this guy doesn't. So if you got rechargeable batteries, you want to go with this guy and not this guy. Price point, two of these, you could break one and still in the good by seven times. Five dollars for two versus thirty-five dollars for this multimeter. Now the multimeter is what? 
a multimeter. You can use it for all sorts of electronics. This you can't. So the trade-off is yours. If I'm just getting a battery tester, these are the ones I'm going to get. If I want something that's more than a battery tester, I think I'm going to get into electronics, then I'm going to go with the multimeter. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in evaluation of electronics, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe, because you never know what you're going to see.